the new have. generation of musicians that we have, if they can use their music to speak to power, Nigeria wouldn't be where it is today. But they are using their music to distract Nigerians and at the same time to corrupt children of what is not right. Use your music. Since Nigeria has made you who you are, because people like us who are head our statement in the business has been able to revolutionize the music industry to what it is today. So sometimes use your music to speak for Nigerians because it is the same Nigerians who made you who you are, whether you like it or not. You know what I'm saying? So Jaga Jaga Reloaded basically was talking about... Uh, uh, was talking about embezzlement, corruption under Wari government, was talking about uh, um, the failed currency uh, uh, policy that was created by Buhari government, giving Emefili uh, opportunity to embezzle our money. How can uh, Emefili, CBN governor, has 300, more than 350,000 accounts all over the world? You can imagine how much is in each of those accounts. Now, uh, Emefili and his co-op are telling us that uh, uh, that the six million dollars that was meant for election observers that Buhari uh, signature was forged. Even the uh, federal government said that Buhari signature was forged. Ow! That was a lie now. That was a big story. Just say Buhari signed that document, period. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? You know, another big mistake that President Tunubu made. Well, I won't call it President, uh, I won't call it mistake. He intentionally did it. He wanted to be president. He brought in Buhari. You know Buhari was not, does not have the capacity to rule Nigeria. Buhari does not have the capacity to rule Nigeria. He does not have anything to offer. He borrowed money. On that, debt on that Buhari government before he left. The one that I know, two years before he left, was 77 trillion. Which must be more than that before he even left. But somebody was telling me he's about, it is something trillion. So you can imagine that. But you know, you, 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 you brought him to power because you have an, uh, an agreement and understanding with him that when you are leaving, I'm the next president of Joro No Deal. Of course, not party party government. You know, if when, when Buhari was the president, the president you know, who wanted to help him, he would have helped him to solve the problem. You know, but it's just all about his personal interest. Nigerians are suffering. If you truly care about Nigeria and you ask them to sacrifice, you need to sacrifice. Your, 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 your vice president needs to sacrifice. Your senators and your House of Rep members need to sacrifice. Why? Because if you cannot pay the labor, if you cannot pay the workers, 350000 then let senators and rep take 65000 that you are proposing. Let everybody be on 65000 naira salary. People. And so that we, can, we, we can all enjoy our suffering and smiling together. It's a sad situation, my brother. There's so much more to talk about. It's a pity. Your, your music has often um, sparked a lot of controversy. In fact, your recent uh, single uh, has received uh, quite a mixed reactions among Nigerians. And uh, I'd like to ask, how do you respond to critics who say your recent song is just a quest for social relevance or media? Those critics are happy slaves. That's their definition. They are happy slaves. Because these are people that are benefiting from this government. They are happy slaves. And if the critics are part of the duo's uh, me uh, mem uh, members, you understand what I'm saying? Here is my fact. What's up, ready, sir? When the man. geo came so out fitness. and asked Nigerians through all his churches yeah. to sign Guys, an undertaking for a one million how protest how against President Jonathan. This morning? Also, Very during the government, he came out right, guys. with one million people to protest. Why is it not difficult when things are very, very, very hard yes. now? Under your Tinubu government, where you, which you know that it's, you, you guys are Mr. Badi Badi movement. Why didn't you come out our and ask your, uh, your congregation to sign one million Very signature and protest against President Tinubu? As a, as a man of God, that is what you should have done. Not keep quiet. You know. So when I hear people saying that uh, uh, he's a daddy geo, he's not supposed to I talk about to politics. He has talked about politics before. He has talked about uh, coming out to protest against President Jonathan. He asked people Copy to sign. Right. He has protested yeah, during the uh, uh, Buhari government. Copy so let him come out and protest during right. to the good government. Right. So we do not say it during no day. So anybody that is saying what you said, you know what I'm saying, they are just happy slaves. Simple. Mostly. Those guys are in Nigeria, you know, they are wicked. Because most of them, all this video, 
they go put copyright on it. I don't know whether it's because of the song that is in the video or who is the one that creating claiming the honor of these videos. So like this video is supposed to be free video whereby blogger we also use them but immediately you use these videos you see copyright so strong one but i think it's the song that is there but if it's not a song or if it's uh, other guys in nigeria that are doing that putting copyright on all these videos they need to stop you know they need to remove it so Mr. Buberia ceremony was yesterday. Today I brought it because yesterday copyright issue, so I have to delete it. So I have to make the video again. That is why I'm talking about the copyright issue. So listen up. Let's watch it. As yesterday, finally respects to our regent mr john okafo ibu the man that make us happy so much you know the man that make us happy so much the man that make nigerians happy very well put smile on nigerian faces We love you. You will forever be in our hearts. You will forever be in our hearts. So, let's see how it. So, so guys, they are taking him to after the mortuary yeah they're taking him out of the mortuary so now they're on their way going to his hometown mr john okafo mr ibu john okafo ceremony yesterday he was put to rest the man that make us happy the man that put smiles on Nigerian face. I wish he still be here. He will still be putting smiles on our faces. But you know, this world that is how it is. You know, that is how the world is. But Nollywood have celebrated barriers too much, you know. Nollywood have celebrated barriers too much. Too much. When I see them, you know, I pity them. I see many, many of them. I have seen the different videos of barriers. I just pity them, uh, you know. I said, how? Why you guys only celebrate failures? You guys should be celebrating events, having events, doing party. You know? People come, celebrate, actors come, celebrate. Not barriers upon barriers upon barriers is when you people come, dress come, you know. Where are the the fun of life without death being involved? Are we gonna be having fun without 
without how we can we be, begin to create our society in the way that we stay alive, have fun in life, we go to invent, you know, we go invent the country good, they will have you know places where you can enjoy yourself like tourists even white people can even came in our country so we can be going in events you know living being alive celebrating life just like Asians I always told you about Asians because those are the people who we're supposed to be compelling ourselves to like looking on to them not like you are compelling yourself to white people or you're looking on to white people but you don't want to do like them you know you don't want to do like them i hope i'm getting point here because there is where i'm going just relax relax there is where I'm going. You're going to get every... You're going to get all my point. The point in what I'm saying. So, we come life, we struggle, we walk. We work hard. We chase the dream. We hustle. At the end of the day, we will not stay alive and enjoy the life. So what is the need? What is the need of all the hustle, all the struggle, all the fight, all the envy, all the jealousy? What is the need of that? What is the need of that? Where we can stay alive and enjoy the fight, everything we have been fighting for, everything we are working for. Why we can't celebrate life, celebrate event, not barriers. Nollywood have gone a lot of barriers so much. I was watching one of their videos today, it's Mr. Ibu. I was seeing all of them, their faces there. And those faces I see like that, the same thing like that in different, 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 different occasions, which is barriers. So I was just in my mind, like I was just pitying them. I was pity on them. Yes, in my mind, my mind was running inside. I was just getting pity on them. So, oh God, I never see you people on camera going to event, having fun, you know, celebrating, enjoying life, traveling for vacations around even in the country. Our country is supposed to be good in that. When you work hard, you can have a places where you go there to enjoy yourself, go there to have fun, go there to, to you know, fresh your hair, to go there for vacations, go there to relax. After you can still go back to work. So that we can enjoy what we come for. We are working, we are fighting, we are group, 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 group all the time for. It's not about celebrating barriers. Nigeria have making barriers as occasions. Nigeria have making barriers in the play the, the place of enjoyment, in the place of where people will come and eat, come and dance, come and wear we we wear clothes, designers. Come on. That show that there is problem in the country. That show that the government is not doing right thing. That show that the the, the that show that there is no anything that is is good about anything in the country. 
because that is not how support is supposed to be that is not only the way to celebrate this is not only way to enjoyment we should be seeing these actors on camera where they go where they are they are having events celebrating life celebrating the work they are working all of them are supposed to come in one union in one union they can do this in one union they can even others they can even an go they will contribute money they will do things put things in the ground contribute money do this contribute money do this contribute money put this industry put it in the way that he's going to be it's going to be something that is going to favor people not debt not going in the there oh this time around we we'll go for this our colleague debt very very ceremony oh we we'll wear clothes we we'll go we we'll walk we we'll, we we'll, we'll carry chairs up we we'll go next time we we'll carry chairs up and another colleague don't die again we we'll go next time we we'll carry chairs up another colleague don't die again nollywood waiting the soul we want to be seen when we are going event celebrating life. They eat chicken, they eat turkey, they eat uh, um, all the barbecues. I know that Nigerians is Nigeria. The Nigerian is not right. If it's right, that is how life is supposed to be. Life is meant to enjoy, to live the life to the fullest in here. And who can do that? You can do it by yourself. Then when you do it, when you work hard, not by jealousy, not by envy, not by trying to, to, to bring one another down, not by trying to kill one another, not by trying to take one another out. Not by that. All of us can be here and still make it. It's only that we can work together, we come together. If you are in industry, you have to work together, come together contribute money to make things better things in the better way so that people will be alive and be doing things more progress the more people are dying you are even you, you are just going down because your image is just soaking down instead of your image supposed to you know be progressing how many times you hear say somebody die in Hollywood? How many times you say you hear say Hollywood go for Belia? How many times you hear say Hollywood go for Belia here? How many times you hear you say Hollywood go for Belia here? How many times you hear say Hollywood go for Belia here? How many times you hear say Hollywood go for Belia here? Not you are not are you only the only people who who, who been wood wood? Are you the only people who is wood wood? So many countries have wood, have movies, high industry. Some people will pray moving to the old. If they are not even in the movie, but they will be living their lives. But this one, when they pray moving, other than die in the process, when they even how other than leave the, 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 the industry, stay out, they will be in one corner, suffering in one. One on one in one something of another. It not supposed to be like this. If it's like this, our generation children are they going to have a dream? Say, oh, I want to become a Nollywood. If it's like this, I don't think Nollywood should should support even supposed to even reach like this today. If it's like this, Nollywood was. Only Belia, Belia, Belia. What's up? And some of the Belia they caused by theirself. Pausing this person, pausing this person, pausing this person. What's up? As you the only one wood, wood, wood. Do you hear how many times Ibu have been pausing? How many times? Ibu survive. Ibu have fight for life. Ibu has fight for life. 
The man had fight for life. He survived so many attack, so many pauses. The other one was the one that even made his stomach very big. People was asking, what is going on with this Mr. Ibu? What is going on with the Mr. Ibu? After that one, another one after that, before you know it, this leg you see. If you check very well, I know that okay, Mr. Ibu have diabetes, but if you check very well, the hands of the evil people can still be there. Because people that have been trying to keep by pausing, nobody be dissenting. Maybe not the poison and go cause diabetes. There is nothing Nigeria never try, try when Mr. Ibu survive. Nigeria really come out for Mr. Ibu. Shout out to so many guys that are there for him. Even Rude Boy that he called in the day in, on his dead bed. God bless all of you. But industry of Nollywood, we need to talk to them. We need to talk to them. Nollywood, we need to talk to you. You need to risk things now. You are not the only one that have been Nollywood. How would they have Hollywood? They have Bollywood. Even India Bollywood is there. They have all the all the country have movie industries. How many barriers? Come on, man. Maybe we should put things in order, man. Put things in order. Put your house in order. So that you people can create a generation wealth in movie. Generation wealth can be created in the movie. In that movie. In that Nollywood. If you cut about envy, jealousy, cut it off and come together. And put things in order the way it's supposed to be. Ndibo. I know that you people are the people that know lifestyle. Know what's up. Jevolo Bodebo, travel Bodebo, know how white people rock. What's up? What did they happen? At the same time, I stayed in Hollywood. I want to know we'll put things in order. I want to know we'll come together and we'll make our laughs. What's up? What is the song? Don't look it in the well of Nigeria. Don't look it in the well like that. You can see create a legacy as a as a as a as a as a, as a, as a president. A legacy that even if you are out there, they will say Emeka Rolas was the one that's, that, that, that created legacy that where everybody are enjoying today. Come on, man. You have to do something, Emeka Rolas. Do something. Put things in the ground. What happened in the times of Junior Pope should not happen. Those kind of things should not be happening. But if quiet or everything happen is a nature, is a nature, is a nature, is a nature, is not nature no more. Because other countries is not like that. It's not like that that people are dying. What's up? So that is all I have to react on this video. That is all I have to say. Um, R.I.P. Finally, my final respect to Mr. Ibu. He was going to live forever in our hearts. He have put smile on our faces. He have, you know, 
he have make Nigerians happy. He's a great man. He's a strong man. He's a you know he's a he's, he he's he's a you know very 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 intelligent man. The way he's look, forget about his look, right? He's intelligent more than the way he's look. If he's look the way he's look, you think oh he's uh, you know na mumu, but he's intelligent. If you if you know, I don't know it now. So guys, subscribe to your YouTube channel.